Hi, I'm Alex Klingel Hafer, a wealth advisor with Exential Wealth Advisors here in, in Oklahoma City. I am uh, OKC CFA, CFP on Twitter. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to talk about the top five misconceptions folks have when talking about 529 plans. College education is very important uh, and paying for it is a real big part of many families' uh, financial future. And, and how are we going to do that, balancing out with retirement? Uh, these are all questions we get all the time as wealth advisors, and, and I'm happy to share some misconceptions with you as you look at, at solving that problem. Uh, before we get into to that list, if you would, feel free to, to subscribe to the channel, uh, and that way anytime me or one of my colleagues has uh, some new information to share with you at no cost to you, uh, you'll get it delivered right to your, to your subscription feed here on YouTube. And uh, if you want, you can actually click that, that notification bell. You'll be the first to know. Uh, so let, let's go ahead and get into those top five uh, misconceptions about, uh, about 529 plans. One. The first misconception about 529 plans is that you have to pick a state when, when you start a plan. Well, you do have to pick a state. You have to pick a state where the 529 plan is located, but that doesn't have to be the, the state that your child goes to school in. Can you imagine having to, to pick out a school for your child at, at birth, 18 years before you, you know who they really are? That would be silly. Uh, so some states may give you a, a tax credit uh, for investing in their own state's 529 against your state income tax. Uh, but really, you can you can have a 529 plan in any account, uh, any state that that offers one, and use it for for any school uh, that you that you choose. Uh, now, we talked about some states having an income tax uh, benefit. If Oklahoma, here where I practice, certainly does have a benefit uh, of a of a state income tax reduction if you use the Oklahoma 529. If you're interested in seeing if your state offers a little income tax benefit. Take a look down here at the description. I've gone ahead and listed out all of the states and their, their exemptions, and, and let's see if we can save you some money. But if you do have a, a state that, that you like, I like Utah, I like Kansas, they have some great 529 plans. Uh, don't feel like you have to keep it here in the home state. That's a big misconception. Two. The second misconception that folks have regarding 529 plans is that they have to be used for a four-year traditional college or university. And that's simply untrue. 529 accounts can be used for trade schools, for two-year schools, and since 2017, they can actually be used for, for high schools as well or elementary schools. Really, any sort of educational funding that you need, uh, 529 plans can be used for those. So even if your child doesn't go to a four-year college, you can still use the money that you put away for their education. Three. Let's go to the number three misconception that folks have about 529 plans, and that's you need a 529 account for each child that you have. Now, while that can be an option uh, for you, you can change the beneficiary of a 529 plan at any time. You just switch it from, from your first child to say your, your second child. So if it makes sense for you to have multiple accounts, it's fine. If it's easier for you to just keep track of one account for multiple kids, that works too. 529 plans can be switched from a uh, person to their spouse, to their cousin, to their niece, nephew, sibling. As long as it stays in the family, generally the IRS is going to say uh, that's okay. Four. So the number four misconception that folks have about 529 accounts is that they're the very best place always to save for your child's education. And, and that's simply untrue. Uh, I'm going to advise my clients to max out the Roth IRAs first if they, they have the income uh, low enough to do that. And in fact, it might even make sense to put dollars into a traditional Roth 401k plan through your work, earmarking that for a child's expense uh, before contributing to a 529. The reality is that most folks are going to, to change jobs between now and when their kids go to college. Um, IRAs, which you can roll those 401ks into, allow you to take out for educational expenses for you or your family member. And if your child doesn't go to college or doesn't need all that money, well, then it's there for your retirement. So it really makes a lot of sense to go ahead and put that money into retirement style accounts before funding a 529 plan. Now, if you already have those accounts matched out, well, first, good for you. Uh, but, but 
really think about making sure that pro retirements are priority before you put into a 529 plan uh, because you can take loans for education. There are a lot of other ways to finance it. Your kid can work. Uh, you don't get two shots at retirement. So make sure you have those retirement dollars put away first. Five. So the last misconception I'd like to clear up about 529 plans is that a 529 plan is just going to cover the entirety of, of my child's college tuition. And the likelihood is that it's probably not true. Uh, so just a couple of quick facts to let you know that the expense of college. So four-year college uh, degrees take about four and a half years to complete. Uh, as a median. So that, you know, the typical student takes about four and a half years uh, to complete that degree. It costs about $25,000 a year uh, all in and then take school. So, so right now in 2020, it costs about $120,000, $130,000 to, to put a child through college all the way. Uh, now, given that inflation is rising among college costs, so a little bit more than, than the overall cost, if you're having a child this year, like I did in 2020, uh, you're looking at a bill of around $200,000, $250,000 uh, per child. Now, don't let that sticker shock uh, you know, stop you from saving. 529 plans are, are still an important part of the college saving process. In addition to grants, in addition to loans, uh, generally you can have a, a child graduating from college very close to debt-free. You just have to plan, plan ahead. So, 529 plans are not the end-all, be-all of saving, but they certainly can help. Uh, if this has been informative for you, learn about the misconception of 529 plans, and if common sense uh, financial guidance is something you'd like to see in your newsfeed, please, again, subscribe to the video. We'd love to, to hear what you have to say in, in the comments. And if you want to be the first to know, go ahead and hit that bell. Uh, otherwise, thanks so much for, for spending five minutes, seven minutes of your day uh, to learn a little bit more about financial planning, and I look forward to chatting with you here soon.